Here we go, 21,558. Another legend. Exactly, yeah. Either way, you know what? Who knows? Maybe McDavid's going to get like 30 points in the next 10 games and have like a 20-point lead on these guys. I wouldn't be surprised at this point, would you? There's so many things that can happen with those three guys. These boxes, why are they suddenly so tough? The first one rips so easily. Now it's like people are like... Exotic numbered one of one, Daryl Sittler. Congrats, number one spot. McDavid has 110 in the last 56 games. Jesus. That is just nuts. We've got number seven of seven, Mario Tremblay. That's insane. Mario Tremblay. And we've got, that's kind of cool, it's our first inscriptions. A one of one, Joe Mullen. So, Rich, what is your opinion on Matthew's Lady Bing? He's obviously now that, you know, his, his penalty in minutes now is significantly more than the next closest to him. Which I think would have been Pedersen. But again, it's kind of a bogus call that... Does it really count, per se? Like, I don't know how the voting thing officially, like, is it people who vote? Technically, like, I don't know, is that a voting one? Or is it, like, a stat-only one? Basically, like, the highest points and, like, here's your stats, blah, blah, blah. We've got numbered six of six, Theron Fleury. I'm not going to lie, I'm not really sure of how that actually works, if that is a voting one or not. Theron Fleury. We've got numbered six of six, Gary Roberts. I'm just kind of curious how that 10-minute misconduct, if that is going to change anything. That's what I meant. And we've got a 2 of 7, Borier Salming. That's a sweet one. Borier Salming. 